Hello beauties, my name is Eva and today we continue our series with Nabla Cutie Palettes and today there's only one cutie palette left and this is number one. First cutie palette, nude one. However, all the nudes, these are not warm tones, more cool and neutral ones. So today's makeup may be a little tip for you what we are going to do in my next videos, but this I will tell you at the end of this video. So not so fast, there's time and place. And of course there wasn't any new video in that Thursday, last Thursday, so if you want to be up to date then follow me on Facebook or Instagram, on Twitter, I am absolutely up to date and very active on Instagram, on Insta stories, but I also leave informations on Twitter and Facebook, but I only want to put disclaimer here that Facebook isn't my favorite social media, so on Facebook there's literally only the most important information, so informations about new videos and about my absence and that's absolutely all. So I'm going to apply my P. Louise base and I'm going to zoom you in to do makeup with this gorgeous palette and after that I'm going to do my face and tell you what we are going to do in next videos. In Nabla Cutie palette, the first one, nude one, there's no matte base shade, so I'm taking my single matte base shade to set my under brow area. This technique allows me to have more control under my brow area, so eyeshadows won't stick so easily to this area, so my whole eyelid, this moving part is still wet, still is, is sticky, and here I have set it base. It's very helpful, especially if I want to play with black today. And speaking of black, I'm going to go straight to it. So I'm taking shade Plastic as black. This is uh, latex matte formula, so it's very specific because it's like matte, but wet. It's a little bit shiny. Even on brush you can see that it not exactly acts like matte shade and it has to be massaged into your eyelid. This is Nabla very specific formula. <sighs> the fallout is my fault. Applying this black in my outer corner on my upper and also my lower eyelid. And I'm gently blending this shade. I want more winged shape, as always. <laughs> Nothing new here. And I'm blending this shade using my favorite tapping and scratching moves. Tap, scratch, tap, scratch, but of course, faster. And gentle just tapping. Of course I want to add more this shade here, but later. Now I'm taking shade Latex Nude, which is also latex matte formula. And with this shade I'm going to blend this black here towards to my inner corner and also my lower eyelid. I use very small amount. Better to take less than take more. You can always add more color. Of course, if you want tutorial how to blend the black properly without using any transition shade, only using black, I have this video on my channel, however, I'm going to do it again, I think so, but not today. And now you can see how I build this nude shade, it's more and more visible. And we already have here great cool toned makeup with not so great blend yet. Back to my lower eyelid. And here I'm just applying this shade on this place next to this black and of course blending with this black. Now I'm going back to my black shade and I'm adding more in this place where black was. And again back to this nude shade and blending again. 
and again black shade with every another layer this blending is more and more flawless this is because you put a little of this black and you then blend it and then again black and then again blend it and so on and so on this technique works not only with black but with any other blending you do it's just layer on layer on layer until you be satisfied. I think I am satisfied, although I want more black here, but this I will add after shimmer. And to make this makeup even more cool toned in this palette, there is this gorgeous pink shade called Seducer. And I want to add it as my shimmer. Why not? Pink and black? Hell yes! And I'm going to apply it with brush that is for concealer for my cut crease, but I'm going to put it just on my eyelid, like so, without any base and without any cut crease. Let's go! This is why I love Nabla. You don't need any concealer, any glitter glue. You don't need to do cut crease. You do cut crease with your eyeshadow. Watch this. I know more or less where my cut crease should be, so it's easy for me to draw my cut crease with eyeshadows. However, if you're not sure yet, then uh, you probably have to do cut crease first with your concealer. However, with eyeshadow is also nice because if you don't like shape of your cut crease, you can always blend this edge right here and just do regular makeup with, you know, shimmer blended on your eyelid. And now again, I'm going back to this black and I'm adding more connecting with this shimmer and making my outer corner more more dark darker 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 I'm going to add inner corner highlighter on highlighter step so after I do my face so now I'm going to clean this mess that is here that's why I like to do eyes first and then face. <laughs> Fully recommend. I'm going to also put some lashes and I'll be right back after I do my face. I'm going to counter with you and tell you what will be in my next videos. I could do this makeup more black, but maybe next time. My brows almost disappeared because of the powder and that's why I'm using brow gel mascara at the end of this makeup. I'm going to use my shade and light contour palette as always. Same old, same old to control my face and of course now we can talk about what's next because this is the last video with uh, cutie palette. Of course no, not the last on this channel because I love these cutie palettes too much to just say no to them. <laughs> but for sure we finish today this cutie palette series. And since I won't buy the newest Jeffree Star palette, in my last video, also on my Twitter and on my Insta stories, I asked you if, although I'm not buying this palette, maybe you want some makeups, cool toned makeups and um, more gothic makeups, because I know that many people are disappointed that this the newest uh, Jeffrey's palette isn't very gothic it's just cool toned nudes so this is idea for my next let's say series with more cool toned and uh, gothic makeups however disclaimer here and i will put this disclaimer in every next video this will be more like goth inspired makeups if i have to choose my subculture i am somewhere between rock metal and goth so hmm i'm not truly goth of course, these makeups, gothic makeups, will be not nudes because, hey, goth is not only nude. It's absolutely beautiful, 
like battle green and uh, chatterous color, black of course, but for example with uh, red, burgund, violet, um, blue, like dark blues or this royal kind of blue. So I hope this will be fun. Um, and of course some cool toned makeups, that's my favorites, I barely show them on this channel because I know that uh, there's not a lot of people that like uh, nude makeups in cool tones, however this makeup is pretty cool toned. And as I my blush I'm going to use Everlasting Blush in shade Rosebud by KVD Vegan Beauty. So although I'm not going to buy the newest Jeffree's palette, I can give you some inspirations because I will make um, cool toned makeups that you probably for sure can do with this uh, new palette if you will buy it and if you will not buy it you will just have some ideas what you can do with cool tones in general as my highlighter inner corners and highlighter just highlighter I'm going to use Jeffree Star Cosmetics Skin Frost in shade Ice Cold and in my next video um, I will start this series with I think this is a good idea uh, to show you just my collection of cool toned neutral shades because I have some cool tones but it's not like one palette. I can also show you some palettes that are more like gaffy, grungy palettes. I always like to call it palette for bad girl. <laughs> so we are going to start with a little introduction, my collection and then we are going to do makeup. I'm not sure yet if this will be a cool toned makeup nude one or, or already we are going straight to gothic makeups, I'm not sure. And as my lipstick I want to use shade that matches to every single makeup, especially to cool tones and because I used this gorgeous Nabla Glam Touch lipstick in shade Platinum recently. Mm, vanilla scent. Mm, yes. So I thought that I'm going to use actually the same shade but more classic one, the older one. <laughs> that means Lolita KVD Vegan Beauty but maybe as vanilla lipstick. Why not? I only use it once on this channel. Weird. Or maybe twice. Mm. And again the smell. Mm -hmm. Yes, it will match. I think I used it twice here on my review video and and after. I have to check. I'm not going to sleep good at night. I have to check. Oh yes, I used it. I used it in my video with blending techniques, the first one. That was with um, with Nabla Soul Blooming palette, yes. Yes, I used it, so this is third time. honest I'm really proud that I did so fast this makeup with black. Black isn't the easiest shade to work with. Actually I'm pretty proud. I can't imagine that last year last year I would be afraid to do something like I did today. Not to do um, black smoky but to do black smoky so fast. So <laughs> I hope that this will be a little inspiration for you that, uh, well, practice, 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 practice and practice and you will get it eventually. I'm pretty impressed by myself, not gonna lie, I'm not going to be modest here, sorry. Sometimes you just need to be just proud of yourself. I just told you what we're going to do uh, from the next video, so 
cool toned makeups, gothic makeups, here we comes. I hope this will be nice series, great series, the funny series and of course I'm going to, like I said, start from showing you my collection of cool tones and maybe some more grungy and gothic palettes. I hope you'll be there. Also I told you about my Instagram and Twitter about my social media so I'm not going to tell you again but fully recommend especially if you want to be up to date but it's absolutely not mandatory and you can just hang out with me here on YouTube down below comment section is for me and for you to have some nice conversations. All right, that will be it. So as always, I love you very, very much and I see you soon. Bye.